get into some coping strategies for employees. So if you're working in a place that's toxic, you want to set boundaries, seek support, and document the toxicity. All right, let's talk about it. Let's dig into it. When you're in a challenging work environment, you need to do those things. All these strategies combined can help you maintain the mental and emotional well-being boundaries that you need while you're still navigating a difficult situation at work for as long as you need to tolerate that position. So number one, we've all heard this, right? Set boundaries. Be assertive. Practice saying no whenever necessary and clearly communicate your needs. A wishy-washy, maybe, sort of, is not a clear no. That does not set a boundary. If you're wishy-washy about it, people don't know what the boundary is. You need to say that this is the line and that's it. And if people go over the line, it needs to be clear what happens, that they know where the line is. Self-care. Prioritize it. Go exercise, bike riding, hiking, forest bathing, whatever it is. Relax. Watch your fish swim in a fish tank for a little while. Whatever your relaxation technique is, use it. It's your right. This can also help you manage your stress levels. So then you can, if you start to get wound up, do deep breathing, right? A bit of meditation and mindfulness. Stay in that moment. Appreciate where you are. Appreciate your space. Understand that you have the tools and opportunities that you need to exit out of that toxic workplace. Might take time, but you can do it. Number two, seek support. Go talk to your mentors in the company. Get guidance from the people that you trust. I have had a mentor for, my goodness, how long is it now? 25 years. In fact, I called him today and he got me back on track. So when you find the right mentor, they don't ever go away. You can really keep going back to them. It's amazing. I have reached out to him a thousand times and I am so grateful he is in my life. You can also reach out to HR. It's designed to provide assistance to you when you've got workplace issues and conflicts. That's why they're there. Counseling. You may need to consider professional counseling or therapy to get additional support. Don't be shy about it. Don't be embarrassed about it. Get the support that you need, whatever it is. There's also, again, back to your HR department, employee assistance programs. You can get confidential counseling and resources. They may help you. And here's a big one, right? Document those instances of toxicity. Keep a record. Grab screenshots of the text messages or of the emails of whatever. Put it all into a Google folder. Capture it. Keep records of those toxic behaviors. Have the dates, the times, the descriptions. Say what was said because you're going to forget about it in a couple of weeks. Capture it. Write it in a journal, whatever you have to do. And then be clear on what the reporting procedures are within your organizations on how you can report toxic behavior. And take close attention. Do you have whistleblower protection? Understand your organization's whistleblower policies because you want to be protected from retaliation. All right, here's a few actionable insights. This is what you can do. One, practice assertiveness. Set clear boundaries and communicate your needs and define what is okay on this side of the boundary and what is not okay on the other side of the boundary. Two, prioritize self-care. Take care of your mental and emotional well-being. Number three, get support from your mentors, your HR, counselors privately, or your employee assistance programs whenever you need to. Document all instances of toxicity to protect yourself and the others who are involved. Familiarize yourself with your organization's reporting procedures and whistleblower protection policies. These are the coping strategies that you can use to help you navigate those toxic workplaces until you can figure out a game plan to get out of there. By setting boundaries, seeking support, and documenting all instances of toxicity, you can better navigate challenging work environments more effectively. Remember, nobody wants to be there. That's toxic. Oh, 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 oh,